Coach, another solid performance by the team and another win here in Las Vegas. What stood out to you about some of the other players that got a little more minutes tonight? I'm just so proud of the guys. Um, all of them that stepped foot on the floor, all of them you know, got an opportunity to compete and play. Uh, they brought the juice, they brought a lot of energy. And uh, what we talked about, they did it before the game, they did it together. Um, so it was a lot of paint to great, a lot of rotations, multiple efforts defensively, scrambling. Uh, they did a lot of slips on their offensive uh, set, so the guys were communicating really well defensively. So just proud of all the guys, just really stepping up and getting the job done collectively. We finally saw Sebron kind of break out a little bit. What did you like about this game? Uh, he was able to get downhill, and um, you know, coming in uh, to summer league is one of the things that um, I'm just really been emphasizing with him. Just try to get, just touch the paint, and and, and make the next best play, where that's an opportunity to, to create or score for yourself or facilitate and, and make a play for a teammate. But it all starts with using his God-given size, strength, and speed and getting to the paint. And he did a much better job with that uh, tonight. What did you think of the way that Daquan played again today after he played so well the other day? Awesome, awesome. You know, someone who uh, really, I didn't even know he's a three-level scorer. You know, he's, he's shooting the mid-range, he's got the three, and he's, he's finishing at the, you know, try to put it on somebody's head at the rim. Uh, he's a heck of an athlete, uh, and as, as I said, he just plays with a level of physicality on both ends of the floor that uh, he stands out, um, and he did, did a really good job again tonight and just something to build on. Uh, he tweaked his ankle, he, he came back on the bench, um, decided to hold him out and just give him an extra, we're gonna, we have a day off, and then we have the late game on Friday, so he should be rested up for, uh, for Friday's night. How have you seen the chemistry start to develop on the team? How that they've got a few games as I said, just really proud of just the, the, the high-level character um, of all the guys. Um, it's really a credit to Griff and Bryson and Trajan and all the people in Swin bringing, the, bringing high character people into the organization because those guys are cheering and supporting um, one another. And you can see it on the bench. Um, somebody makes a play. Uh, they're encouraging, you know, good or bad. They're encouraging each other and they're picking, they're lifting each other up, which is what you want to see. Um, as, a, as a team, as an organization, as a culture. And they're doing a really good job with all of that, so it, it, it feeds into what we're about. You know, uh, I think it's, this is the seven or eight of Summer League. What does it mean to see... I think it's more than that. But <laughs> what does it mean to see the fact that you still have all of these normal roster guys who are still in the building, and even I mean, Z just flew in from Paris to be here today, yeah. CJ, Brandon, all these guys still here watching and, and supporting these guys. I think it's awesome. It, it speaks to the culture that we're just talking about, uh, supporting one another as brothers, as teammates. Um, guys just really just genuinely want to be around each other, want to hang out. And you saw, I know CJ and, and Larry and Jackson and all the guys, and Zion obviously, B, B.I., Jose, Naj, you go down the list, Trey. I mean, all the guys are here to support one another and support their teammates. And it's a beautiful thing. Uh, and it just really just speaks to the culture and the environment that we have and the high level of character um, guys that we have in our organization. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you.